my name is Anubhav and I'm technical marketing engineer working for a security business group at Cisco Systems. In this video, I will talk about Cisco Next Generation Firewall on Azure and I will cover template deployment use cases. So when I talk about a deployment of a virtual firewall in Azure, you can do it using two methods. First method is using deployment wizard. Uh, where you have a uh, few options to fill which I have already covered in my previous video on NGFWV deployment in Azure. So if you have not seen that video I would request you to go back and look at that video and uh, view it first and then come back to this one. So now if you are looking to add additional attributes uh, to your virtual appliance and that attribute is not part of a deployment wizard then you can create a template put all the a new attribute as a part of the template and deploy your virtual appliance using a template. For example, availability set is not part of deployment wizard. So when you, and if requirement is to add uh, multiple virtual firewalls behind a load balancer, it is important that all virtual firewalls are part of the same availability set. Second use case is uh, is you can publish these tested templates. So for example, if you have already tested a a template of a virtual firewall you can publish it with your friends your your peers your partners your customers so that instead of reinventing the wheel they can use your uh, verified template and deploy virtual appliances in their Azure environment and the third use case is multiple deployments so if you're planning to deploy multiple firewalls um, firewalls you can just create a template and deploy um, uh, other firewalls using a verified template. The prerequisites you should have these uh, items pre-created in your Azure environment and when you create a template you will use uh, these attributes in your template so that your template can recognize where you where in which resource group you're planning to uh, put your uh, virtual appliance or what, what what information and you will include information about availability set vnet and all the other options given in this slide so um, in in the description of this video i will include um, a, a location or a link uh, from where you can download uh, tested ngfwv template uh, it's a github link so you can go there and download json file and you can test that um, uh, that um, template in your azure environment as well so i'll just go ahead and pause this video here and log into portal.azure.com quickly and i will walk you through step by step um, uh, instructions on how to deploy um, virtual firewall using a template welcome back I'm now connected to portal.azure.com and I will show you how to deploy virtual firewall using a template before that I will go to resource group in which I'm planning to deploy uh, NGFW using a template so this is my resource group NGFWV in this resource group I have availability set in this availability set I already have two NGFWVs running uh, NGFWV100, NGFWV200. I'm going to deploy another uh, virtual uh, firewall and I will name it as NGFWV300. So these are name of the uh, virtual appliances running in the resource group. I have a storage account in which I have uh, deployed all the virtual appliances. So I'm going to use the same resource group. And uh, I have a VNet as well. So in this VNet, if I go to subnets, I'll show you all the subnets that I have created. I have management subnet uh, from where I would be managing the virtual appliance. I have diagnostic interface, external interface is outside interface of the device, and I have internal interface. So I'm going to use these properties uh, and uh, deploy another firewall, a virtual firewall using a template. So I'll just click on this icon and here I will type template. So I've deployed uh, earlier firewalls with these two templates. So I'll just copy this uh, V200 template. I will click edit and I will copy content of this template and create a new template so that I can show you how to create a template from scratch. I'll click add here on this screen. I will name it as NGFWV300. Cisco NGFWV plus availability set. So this is just the description. So I'll click OK. 
and on this screen I will remove everything I'll just copy my ARM template which I copied from uh, NGFW v200 so I'm gonna paste this uh, I'm gonna share this uh, template with you as well uh, so I'll include a github link you can download it so I'll now look at the values that we have here so I'm going to deploy it in West uh, Central US uh, this is going to be my availability set name. I'm going to use existing resource group. This is my VNet. And this VNet is now located in this um, resource group. Uh, on, on my first interface, or my VNet has this uh, slash 16 subnet. On my first interface, this is my... Uh, 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 subnet that I'm going to use a uh, name of that interface is management I'll use dot 12 because dot 10 and dot 11 I've already used for my first uh, first and second virtual appliances this is about my second interface which is a diagnostic interface I'll just change it to dot 12 as well now it now we have information for third uh, interface as well so I'm going to use dot 12 here as well and uh, similarly uh, for fourth interface also uh, I'll just change it to dot 12 password I need to enter when I deploy a device using the template this is my username that I'm gonna use for the device and I will leave other options as default or before that I'll just uh, add edit name of the device I'll just use v300 I'll select existing storage account I'll specify resource group in which this uh, device is de getting deployed I'll just uh, assign one public IP address on management interface well, it management interface will get private IP address which is mapped to an external IP address on Azure gateway so I'm gonna uh, create that IP address as new IP address and name it as ngfwe 300 ip I'll just uh, create a name for this device DNS name which is which is going to be ngfwe 300 resource group again so you can look at these items and uh, you can modify it I will leave other options as default and I will click OK. The moment I'll click OK, it will validate my configuration. So validation is su su successful. I'll click Add. Once I will click Add, it will show up here. I will click Refresh. So this template is available now. So I'll click this template. I will click Deploy. So on this one, I will type my existing resource group, which is going to be a NGFWV. All the items are pre-populated. You, you will see that I have all IPs and everything listed here. In admin password, I need to enter it. Uh, this information is not collected from template. You need to go here and manually enter it. Make sure that you add complex password for this device. And then we have v VM name storage account. I will select existing. And this is my existing storage account. IP address is going to be new IP address and name of that IP address is 300-IP. Uh, I will click agree, pin to dashboard and I will click purchase. So this will now validate and it will start deploying the appliance so this this process will take up to uh, three to five minutes depending upon uh, region where you, you're going to deploy it so uh, deployment is now started so you can look at uh, this page and you will see step by step all options here so uh, this process will take uh, somewhere between three to five minutes so i'll just go ahead and pause this video and if you see any failure you can you can come back to this page and you can look at the phase where it failed uh, so but I'll just go ahead and pause this video and resume when this device is completely deployed and then I will access that device using SSH and I'll show you uh, that we have successfully deployed NGFWV using the template welcome back uh, firewall is now deployed I'll go to resource group to show you de uh, successfully deployed firewall 
So in this resource group, we have deployed new virtual firewall. I will go ahead and first of all show you our availability set. Earlier, um, uh, you saw that we had V100, V200, now we have V300 as well. And these uh, all, all three virtual firewalls are part of uh, uh, same uh, availability set. I will click here on this device, on this virtual appliance, and I will show you at network interfaces. I have four interfaces and public IP address is this address. I will go ahead and SSH this IP. I'll use uh, my username which I specified at the time of deployment and my password. So we are now uh, uh, connected or SSH'd into our virtual firewall. And um, with this, uh, I, uh, I can say that we have completed all the steps for deployment of uh, NGFW in Azure using a template. In description of this video, I will include a link to download uh, NGFW with template as well as uh, a link uh, which of, uh, about the video which I did earlier to this one on deployment of NGFW and how to manage that device using on-prem FMC or FMC deployed in uh, AWS or FMC running on a virtual appliance. So um, I, I think you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.